Generation one insight with lithium battery setup. There's my control monitor. Had some thoughts today. I've actually uh, noticed this over the last couple of years, but thought it would be worth making a quick video today about this. And uh, this is just, it's about maximum power for, from a lithium battery powered uh, Honda Insight. You can check my channel. I've got a multitude of videos on this subject. But simply enough, what I want to talk about is that normally the way this car is calibrated from the factory, when you apply the gas pedal, you apply throttle, it decides how much, you know, not only throttle, you're giving it gas with the one liter engine, but it decides how much battery it's going to uh, add to power the car. So when you have a uh, manual control of the car, as I do, through uh, John Sullivan's tech, which I have also uh, linked videos on that, you can actually manually control the throttle using this knob. And when I say throttle, I mean the amount of electric motor throttle you're adding. And what that does is it enables you to actually add more from the very beginning of, you know, when you push the gas, because the, the car itself, without doing this, will modulate when and where it decides to add, add the electric motor. When you can manually control it, you can add it anywhere and you can go 100%. That makes the car significantly faster. And not that this is a fast car by any means, but I just want to demonstrate. Uh, for example, I am on a slight downhill here, but I'll just go into second gear and I'm going to go into manual mode. And then I'm going to floor it and give it full gas. And you can see how quickly, uh, maybe you couldn't, I'll do it again here in a moment, but it really adds a lot versus just accelerating with the pedal. Again, what I'm talking about here is me deciding how much electric motor, when and where and how much it's applied versus the car doing it. So when the car's doing it, you're gonna get kind of normal acceleration, but when you're doing it yourself, you're gonna get a pretty noticeable bump. And I'll do the same thing again here. And we are, get me on a straightaway here. So I'm gonna first go into manual mode. I now have control of the throttle and I'm going to floor it. So what I was doing there again is I was flooring it with my foot, but I was also flooring it with my dial there. And you could see when I did that, that the assist went full immediately and gave me everything. And so it really is, if you have this tech, A, you need lithium. I mean, you could do this without lithium with a regular battery, but because of lithium, you have more power available. You have uh, software hacks you can do, the uh, current hack being that's actually a hardware hack. And then you have, and a software hack, and then you have what's called voltage spoofing, where uh, you're getting a little more power with each of those things. So that's gonna give you more anyway, but then again, when you have manual control and you can go to linsight.org, L-I-N-S-I-G-H-T.org, and you can learn all about both the lithium battery and the manual control, but it really does add a nice amount of pep to the car, uh, you know, even without controlling it manually. And uh, so I just thought I would demonstrate because it's one of those fun features that, you know, when I'm driving this car around sometimes, I'll, when I feel just a little sporty, again, not a sporty car, but when I want to feel like, let's give it, let's take everything it's got, you know, let's, let's give it a, give it all the beans. And uh, it's, it's quick. I mean, again, we'll see what you, your comments are from that video, but um, it feels very quick in the car, especially this car weighing only 1800 pounds and having such a tuned in analog uh, visceral feel when driving. So anyhow, that's my thoughts on my uh, Insight and just full throttle options with the uh, Linsight manual IMA control module. We're sitting at 70.9 lifetime miles in this guy. Got a little lower tank this time. I've just been using my air conditioning and doing the kind of hoonery that I just demonstrated. So not getting the best gas mileage, but 64.8 still is not bad. Hey, thanks for watching. Would love your thoughts and comments, questions, feedback on this and uh, appreciate you watching. Peace. God bless you.